Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to generate transact along a line. Okay, you can able to see I'm having this line feature and I'm interested to create equal distance transact along the line. Okay, so you can able to see the distance between these two transact is equal and the length is also equal. So we can also do using the point feature as well. If you want to mark a point on equal distance along any line feature, so we can able to do that. How to do that? So you need to take a line shape file. Okay. Any line shape file you can able to take, you can able to generate a shape file. Okay. How to generate a shape file. If you'll right click, then new and you can able to create a shape file from here. Okay. You can choose a folder where you want to save this file and after that what name you want to provide so like i'm interested to digitize road here road network then i'm interested to using the line feature that is a polyline okay so what are the road here i'm interested to digitize that road and after that all things are important the most thing important thing is that you need to provide a projection system Okay, so this is the place for the Mumbai and it is falling 43 UTM zone. So I'll provide here a 43 UTM zone. So just select this earth, then projected coordinate system. Then there is a UTM. In the UTM there is WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere. And I need to select WGS 1984, UTM zone 43. Just click OK. And other option is as it is, I'll just click on the run. So you will see the new shape file is created here by the road network. Okay. So what are the road I'm interested to digitize? I can able to digitize from here. So just we need to go to edit. Okay. After selection this, we need to go to edit. And the create option is there. Just click on the create. So I will select a road network. So you will see automatically change into plus icon. And we can able to zoom this and we can able to digitize this road. Okay. So if you are by mistakenly digitize some different places, you can click on control Z. After clicking on the control Z, we can again go back to the previous position. And you can able to use the scroll mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So like this, you can able to use your left key on your mouse and just click. And when you want to finish, just double click. Then your digitization will finish. Okay. So this way very easily you can able to digitize a road. What are the road you want to digitize? So I'm little bit roughly digitizing here. You can able to zoom it properly and you can able to digitize. Okay. So I will just double click here and my digitization is finished here. Okay. So this two line I have digitized here. Just after that, we need to click on this save. Okay. So my file is saved. After that, what we need to do, we need to create a transact. Okay. If you want to create a transact along this line, you can also change the symbology of this line. Just click here or you can just right click and go to symbology option is there. From here also you can able to change the symbology. But if you we'll click here, we can able to change from here as well. Okay. If you we'll right click, open attribute table, you will see the selected feature. So if you want to unselect it, just click on the clear. So what are the two things we have digitized? You can able to see here from attribute table. Okay. So I will close from here. So these two lines are there and I'm interested to create a transact. So to create a transact, we need to go to view and geoprocessing tool is there. Okay. In the geoprocessing tool, when you will come in the toolbox, there is a data management tool. In the data management tool, there is a sample. There is a sampling. In the sampling, there is a generate a transact along a line, generate a point along a line. Okay. So if you want to generate a point, you can take this tool. But if you're interested to 
measure this road into equal distance and uh, allow using the line then you can able to take this generate a transact along the line so i'm interested to measure it in equal parts so just take this road network this is my shape file after that where you want to save the transact created you can able to save in desired folder i will go by default and here is the distance the distance between two transact how much distance you want like i want one kilometer distance between two to two, two transact okay so i will select one kilometer and the transact length how much length you want so like i want suppose 500 meter length okay 500 meter length and one kilometer distance between the two transact and generate transact at the line start and end okay and after that just click on the run option So you will see we have generated a transact if i'll click here i can able to change the symbology okay so you can able to see it at equal distance we have generated a transact here okay so you can also check the attribute table as well okay so 500 500 meter we have generated same way we can able to generate a point okay just click on the generate point along the line take the road network and by distance how much distance you want to generate a point so same we will take the one kilometer and include end point also and just click on the run So this will be very useful if you are doing some surveying work and you want to mark a equal distance. So then this technique will be very useful for you. So we can able to change the color of it. This way very easily we can able to generate a transect along the line feature or point along the line feature. So if you are having any doubts in this, you can ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.